Hi, welcome to bag eight and the final video of this uh, massive build. Um, I don't think there's a huge amount to do on this one, so it shouldn't take too long to do. If I finish it off, I've put the batteries in the back of the thing already, ready to go. They're rechargeable, so I can take them in and out easily, so it's quite good. So I'm just going to finish off a bit, bit, bit more details on the rest of it and some more of the labels, stickers even, and I um, hope you enjoyed the video. And hopefully I'll get it tested and working once at the end of this. See you at the end of this. See you, mate.
done. That's the Lego excavator finished. That took a lot of time. Um, I had to mess about a bit, a bit at the end as well because the this won't turn in. It's caught catching on something, and the um, all the treadmills, I can't think of the word, won't turn in either. But it's all working now. There was a bar at the bottom here. I put too close to the bucket, and it's catching on that. So, so I'll show you how it's operated. First of all, you turn the switch off on at the top of the back here. And I put all this on neutral. Now that's all on neutral, see. And nothing's happening. It's just, just the motor is turning. That's it, right? So to make anything work, all I have to do is turn the middle one here, and then that gets. That treadmill working, that treadmill working, and obviously the bucket turn. So now all I will have to do is literally put something down there, and it should pick it up. Very. So you get these, which will come with bag one. So what I do is I'll put these. I know it's not going to pick it up very well, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put them in front of it and lower it a little bit. So it's not very well picking up, so I'll cheat a little bit. Put some in the actual buckets themselves. Now, what actually happens is. Theory. It goes up this conveyor belt. Put one in there. So it goes up this conveyor belt all the way along here. As you can see, and drops down onto this conveyor belt onto the lorry. Boom. And that happens again and again and again so you get bored of that. Okay. So it's going to get better like it goes in a bucket, not very good picking up may have the different floor may have. It gets dropped into the other thing which gets stuck on. And then turn this by it goes in the back of the truck. And the truck Obviously, the manual handling, obviously. <laughs> but to turn this conveyor, I could do it by hand just now, or there's the um, cog at the back here. Yeah, see the cog there. And if I turn that, it turns the conveyor belt. Just cool. And also, at the front, it's higher and lower this, there's a cock here, and you turn that, and that goes up higher, like so, don't know how high it goes, see how high it goes. Make it almost level, see what happens. I'll get show you it moving again, it's moving in a sec. That's as far as it high as it goes up. So now to make the thing turn on its axis itself, all I have to do is turn this one and it starts very slowly turning my way. So you can see it slowly very slowly <laughs> turning towards me. It won't work, it won't turn itself unless the bucket's moving and the conveyor belt's moving. But also, 
you switch that switch that the other one you just switch around and it'll turn the other way do 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 it's the bucket seems to be catching I don't know if it goes that it's supposed to go that slow but it seems to catch every now and again it might be the way I built it it's not much of a problem to me to be honest and then to make it move forward and backwards if you turn them back to the middle and the middle one to the forward and the left one to the forward uh, backwards in the other way and it will start slowly creeping forward very slowly at least he moves though that's a good thing <laughs> the real thing is humongous um, I'll put a link in the description if I find a video to the actual real one this is based on it is absolutely massive that's why I made this as big as possible because that's how big it is it's huge it's one of the best one probably this and the Lego uh, the big out sheer one is one of the best ones I've built. I'll tear this off now. And this is definitely a recommendable one, this one. This is amazing. I love this. This took a long time to build. Some parts took a lot longer than others, but <laughs> this one's very good build. I re highly recommend it. It's a massive piece to put on the shelf or uh, to build again and again and again. It's up to you how you build it. Um, Thank you for watching this video and watching all the way through uh, all the other ones as well. Please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe. I've got a new build coming soon, the middle stroke the end of this month. So look out for that. It's not a Lego, it's something completely different. So see you soon. Thank you. Bye.